What's up guys? Welcome to your 142nd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically we're going to draw or pinpoint uh, right when our activity starts based on the location of you know the user of the phone. So it's just going to place a pinpoint right where they are. So what we're going to have to do is use the GPS to find where their phone is to get the location from you know by triangulating the different uh, providers. So it's, it sounds kind of complicated but it's not going to be too difficult the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up that bitmap that we're going to draw or that point that we're going to draw and uh, we're going to do that within our on create method of our map activity so I just want you guys to scroll down to our first alert place a pinpoint um, button and we're just going to copy this whole thing within the on, on click method so we're just going to hit control C scroll up to our on create maybe leave a comment um, placing pinpoint at location. That way we know everything under this line is just for a location. We're going to paste that there and also the other thing that we need to do is set up a geo point and we're going to call this our location. We're going to set that equal to uh, new geo point and we're just going to call this like we're going to call this latitude and longitude or lat and long longi like that maybe and then we're also going to have to set up those variables to be ints so we're going to say int lat is equal to zero to start out with int uh, longi is also equal to zero and uh, there we go we also want to change this overlay, overlay item that we're passing in to be this geo point, our location. So right now it's just going to draw again our, our pinpoint at location zero. But what we're going to do is we're going to change these longitude and latitude values to basically where the person is using this application. And we need to do that through a location listener. Um, so that's going to kind of, again, like I said, triangulate the position of the phone according to different towers and all that stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our activity and we're going to let it implement a location listener so we're going to say implements location listener uh, like that and again we just have to hover over import and we also have to add the methods uh, that we need to implement. So we're going to add those and scroll down to the bottom. We have four new methods on location change, on provider disabled, on provider enabled, and on status changed. So we're going to be setting those up. I know this this class or this uh, you know this activity is getting quite lengthy. Um, we aren't probably going to do too much more in Google Maps or the, the Maps API. Um, after we're done with this location listener so just keep that in mind we're gonna go back to our you know the new Boston basics project here in a little bit but I just want to show you guys a little bit more for Google Maps activities so now that we have those four methods set up at the bottom what we want to do is we want to create a string reference that our whole class is going to re refer to as well as a location manager so we're gonna first set up our location manager We're going to call this location manager and that's just going to help us manage basically the location uh, so import that as well and also a string reference and we're going to call this uh, tower or towers um, so there we go we have those set up I know they probably don't mean much now but uh, I'll try and walk through this section a little bit slowly even though it's not too complicated uh, it seems to me anyways I've been kind of going quickly uh, through some of these tutorials so sorry if I lost some of you guys um, but uh, for the most part I just want everyone to be caught up at this point so probably all we're going to do in this tutorial is set up our location manager and add our permissions to our activity that we're going to need so again under our placing pinpoints comment we're just going to set up our location manager which we called LM and we're just going to set this equal to be now we're going to cast it as a location manager and then we're going to use a method 
that's going to get the system uh, service, which we've used a few times now, I believe. Um, and we're going to say uh, context dot location service. Basically, all this is going to do is retrieve a location manager for controlling the location updates, those methods that we just added or implemented. So again, we're just going to say location service, hit enter, and now we have our location manager set up. Let's also set up our permissions. So we're going to go into our Android manifest, add a few more permissions so we can get you know, kind of a, either a rough estimate of where the person is or a fine uh, location. So we're going to add both of those. So we're going to go over to our permissions, say add permission, uses permission, and then we want to use the one that says access find location and access course location. So we're going to add that and then add another one um, for our course location just in case we can't really get you know a fine-tuned location we're gonna be able to access roughly where we're at so save that and there we go those are the two new permissions that we need for location manager and working with the specific location of a person um, using the application so there we go uh, we got that set up and uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial again we set up our location manager that's gonna help us kind of you know manage the location and uh, we added our permissions and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a good one